So, this is the real, like, ultimate goal for the character, I think. I'm not sure what the ender is there, so let's uh, simplify it by just one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what happens online. Can they not duck the third hit though? I'm pretty sure they can't, so let's try. Uh, I'll do... Let's just do a record action. I'm pretty sure they can't though. Oops. Record action. So, it's gonna be... Uh, record, sidewalk. Try that. You said duck, right? You cannot duck at any point of that. That is 100% guaranteed from what I can tell. Let's try throwing. In this game, okay, so let me tell you something you may not know about this game. In this game, there are situations where you can, um, okay, so you're being hit back turned. But the move or string that you're being hit by in your rear may have a gap in it, right? But the gap in the string may be so small that, that you can't use your controller, the left, you can't use your movement to turn around. The gap is so small that all you can do is attack into it to then initiate a back turned attack and then get counter hit out of it because you're being hit by a string, right? So, what you can do is you can throw. From the back turn position, you can throw. And what that does is it lets you turn around without doing an attack. But in this game, do throws count as a counter hit? They don't, right? So this, this Discord tech would still work if in this game, throws do not count as a counter hit, which I don't think they do. So what that means is, if you're back turned and you want to turn around, but you don't want to do an attack, which is going to get counter hit, you throw, right? They do, they get counter hit in this game. This might be old tech. That doesn't work in Tekken 7. Mm, let's try it just to make sure. Do throws get counter hit is the question because I can't remember. This is like classically a strat but I can't recall. They do count as counter hit. So in this game, that must mean that there's no way to turn around without getting counter hit, right? Why isn't that showing up as a counter hit? What do you have to say about that? It's counter hit only on trade. That's not what I'm asking. I don't think that you get counter hit if you're throwing in this game. I think you guys are not right about that. I know that in uh, Soul Calibur, that's how it works. In Soul Calibur, if you are throwing in the middle of throwing the opponent and you get hit, it counts as a counter hit. But in this game, it doesn't. So it's not old tech. It's current still... Uh, within its expiration date. Basically, what I'm saying is when you're being hit back turned and there's a small gap in the string you're being hit by, you can turn around with a throw. And that will allow you to turn around instantly and not get counter hit. That doesn't mean you'll be able to get out of the string, but it does mean that you'll be able to turn around. You understand what I'm saying? So maybe you will take that hit and then be able to block. Does the throw escape apply to Brian's knee loop on the back? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's an example of that, right? Or maybe the, <laughs> that's you. so much plus frames that you can't do it. You want to try? Let's fucking try it. Might as well. Can you throw to get out of the knee loop on the rear? That's the question that uh, No Pants just asked. It'll only take a moment. To figure that out. Alpha dude um, and run them something. Where's Brian? Brian, Brian, Brian. Uh, run them 536. Wonder Boys and Big Ol' Onion. 
We need a wall. Do this. Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Thanks. I don't know if throws can be counted, to be honest, off the top of my head. My instinct would say no. But they changed it so many times back and forth. I think no, right? Thank throws you. can't be counted. It. Okay, so what am I talking about? First, we should go to restart settings. Restart position wall. Uh, switch positions on, right? So now, I'm the guy with the green. Then, we need to go opponent status. No. Player status. No. Opponent direction. Back. So we, we need to go... Uh oh. That's not right. Uh... That's not right. Player direction needs to be back. Front. Player direction. Back. Right? There you go. Okay. So player direction back. Now we need to go to action settings. Uh, repeat action. Record. And we're gonna do back four into back four. Okay, so now I'm gonna have him do that. You see that? Okay, so this is a great example of that no pants. Uh, okay, so here we go. Here's the, here's the example. This, I'm holding back right now. I'm holding back and I cannot escape it. If you hold back and he hits you with back four, he's gonna hit you with another back four and another one and another one until he stops, right? But what you do is you push throw and what that what that does is it allows you to instantly turn around then you get hit by one and he has to then change what he does he has to see okay this guy pushed the throw button which made his character turn around so that means i can no longer spam these i have to now do a jet uppercut do you understand what i'm saying so basically the combo is back four into jet uppercut which is guaranteed there but because he has my back he's being greedy right and he's trying to get as much damage as he can right i can't duck i can't hold back i can't move I, he's fucking killing me right if i push an attack right let's say i do a kick right i'm gonna get counter hit there i'm taking extra damage for getting counter hit there right so you don't want that. You want a throw because the throw doesn't get counter hit and it turns you around. You see what I mean? So earlier when we were testing if throws get counter hit, that's why I was mentioning it. This is a way to turn around in this game without get counter hit, getting counter hit, and you do it instantly. You see that? Normally your instinct would be to hold back, but you can't hold back here. You're, you're, you're gonna get hit forever. You see what I mean? You can't hold back here. You have to do something or you're going to lose the entire life bar. So what are you going to do? You're either going to push the throw button to turn around and then block. You got to time it too. Isn't that crazy? It only allows you to push it at a certain point right there. You got to push the throw button or push an attack button. The attack button also gives your opponent... Let's see if we can turn this off. If you do Josie's DF4 on block into SWS2, an opponent tries to throw. Josie will get a full combo. Yeah, but this guy, he's right, right? But game mechanics doesn't realize that I'm not talking about that scenario at all. Why would you try to throw into a launcher, right? You can't just use this strategy like an idiot. You have to use it with your brain, right? Because if the next move the character is gonna do is a launcher all you're doing is helping them by pushing throw so yeah don't just push throw like an idiot right in that case in the case of this guy he, his case you're all you're doing is giving Josie a better combo so that's not when you want to do it this is a deliberate thing it's not like a general thing it's deliberate so it's a technique that you apply in specific scenarios not in every scenario like a moron you see what I mean? I thought that was needless to say, but he thought it wasn't. Thanks, Game Mechanics. And Damumbra, thanks very much. And G, thanks. Thanks again for the big tier three. Mm, anyway, trading with throws gives a counter hit. Yeah, but that's not relevant here either. Boy, you guys are really uh, 
Don't forget to strap in those helmets, all right? It's not relevant here. Anyway, Distraction City. Uh, are we through with that concept? Oh yeah, throw to turn around. And attack. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. That's what I was gonna show you. How do we display settings, hit properties, hide, right? So that means you don't see, okay, look. So let's look at this again. Opponents hitting me with back four. That's the hit spark, right? Look at the hit spark, okay? If I push an attack button, it gets a huge visual cue. Look at the visual cue for the counter hit. It's a fucking, it's Cinco de Mayo, right? He gets a giant hit spark to visually see that I turned around. So it's gonna be much easier for a seasoned Brian player to see that hit spark, boom, jet uppercut, right? But if you throw, no hit spark. So it's gonna be a lot harder for the Brian player to visually confirm you did the throw to turn around and then hit the jet uppercut on you. So you definitely wanna keep that in mind when you're using this technique, when you're back turning. You see what I'm saying? It's not just about escaping, it's also about throwing your opponent off too. You feel me, Bruce? Anyway, mm, that solves that mystery.